Everyone, a 73 years old lady recovering from recent surgery and is resting. Whilst she is resting, which of this muscle will be major contributor to the ventilatory activity? So it is uh, another direct answer that a patient who is, is uh, taking rest and the resting condition which is the major muscle for ventilatory action or which is the major muscle of inspiration or expiration here the options options are the innermost intercostal diaphragm internal intercostal sternocleidomastoid, mastoid and escalene so we have to find out one of the muscle which is the main contributor for the respiration first of all let's see the diaphragm this muscle this is the diaphragm in first and second picture so during inspiration during inspiration the diaphragm it goes downward for this condition in this case there is a negative space created then pleura also downward so there is finally a negative pressure within the lungs relating to the atmosphere and for this condition air enters in the lungs so it is the normal inspiratory mechanism so first of all the diaphragm it goes downwards or it contracts and goes downwards and also pleura goes downwards also the lung and lung substance goes downwards for this condition within the lungs there is a negative space created as the negative pressure created relative related to the atmosphere then air enters into lung on the other hand when the inspiration completed then expiration is started and in case of expiration the diaphragm it moves upward and then the pressure within the lungs will increase and finally air goes out so the main muscle for the inspiration expiration is the diaphragm so diaphragm is the main muscle for inspiration and expiration now the accessory muscle of the inspiration that means when a pa person is running walking or doing heavy work in this condition the other muscle also involved in inspiration and let's see the muscles or extra muscle of inspiration or accessory muscle of the inspiration here the scalenes anterior middle and posterior scalene muscle the three important scalene muscle then sternocleidomastoid muscle which is the another neck muscle and other neck and back muscle also helps in inspiration when there is necessary more more oxygen on the other hand there we can see the muscle of the expiration typically in case of expiration there is no direct involvement of the muscle diaphragm relaxes when contraction ends and so here is no active um, energy used so in case of expiration there is no muscle but when forceful expiration required in this condition some important muscle contribute one of them is abdominal muscle we know there are the abdominal different type of muscle such as the rectus abdominis muscle external oblique internal oblique and transversus abdominis so these are the important abdominal muscles and the internal intercostal muscle which is one of the chest muscle and neck and back muscle also helps during expiration and the diaphragm diaphragm is the major muscle involved in this process that means in the respiration so the diaphragm it is the main muscle for the respiration as it is for this region that diminished activity following major abdominal surgery can result in atelectasis so it is one of the important point which is the atelectasis that means the collapse of the lung lobe any lobe of the lung may be collapsed then this condition known as the atelectasis so when the diaphragm usually less movement occur or no movement occur in this condition atelectasis may develop 
so it is our answer the diaphragm the diaphragm is the chief muscle for the ventilatory activity or uh, respiration and there are helper muscle also so we have to remember all the muscle main muscle and accessory muscle also thank you